Hi, my name is Johan and I'm on a mission to build a fast and accurate LEGO sorting machine. Today I want to share with you the workflow that I use to go from an idea to a 3D design to a toolpath for a CNC router to an accurate plywood part. I like to use a CAD tool that's called Onshape and it runs in your browser and you don't have to install any software and it's also completely free for personal use. So let's open the sorter prototype and dive right in. The way that I started this design is by drawing where the flaps go. That's a two-dimensional sketch. So I made a flap and then I rotated it out. So then I started another sketch to draw the outlines of this plywood part that we want to add on the side. So you can see there is a cutout here that is for the drawer slides on the IKEA shelf. Extrude this part, you get a box. Those are not the things that we actually want, so let's pick the other surface. Right, so now you have a plywood part with holes and with cutout for the drawers. You can see there are servos attached to one side of the plywood pieces and they can rotate these flaps so that when they're closed the flaps are vertical and when the flap is moved it can be used to redirect Legos that are falling down into these boxes. From the other side it kind of looks like this so you can see the back of the servos sticking out so you can click here on plus and go to the app store and initialize this app that's called Kirimoto and then you have a tab in your document you can click on that and you can say I would like to set up for a specific machine let's say it's a CNC so I have a Shapoko XL and then you can insert a part directly from your unshape document. So the right side, for example, is importing. Now, as you see, it's kind of standing up. Let's select it, click rotate, enter 90 degrees, hit return. We might want to start by roughing out these internal spaces. So roughing, you can select an end mill, quarter inch diameter. You can select some step down in millimeters, like three millimeter down in each pass and then a reasonably high feed rate because this is just roughing it doesn't have to be super precise after that's done we do an outline pass with the same tool and we're doing a larger step down now because the tool i'm planning to use is actually a compression router bit we're selecting inside only because we don't want to cut the outermost perimeter for now so click start get your toolpath we can inspect it and you can see, actually there's a preview with colors that will show the speed indicated. So the high speed is black, the lower speed is green. And you can see that the green contains dog bones in those areas where it's needed. Those little sticking out parts are the dog bones there. And so if we're satisfied with that, we can export and download and we can start a program called carbide motion to send that to the cutter so connect load this new file and initialize the machine to hit all the end stops when you click start job then we got a start button here All right, time to put the earmuffs on.
put some screws in these holes to hold the workpiece down. And we're gonna remove the roughing pass with this little X. I'm gonna change the outline to not do the insides only, but outsides only or mid through holes. And then we can start the processing and you can see the dog bones are cut in these areas too. So preview, export, download. Load that in Carbide Motion and we are ready to start the job again. That's the finish on the bottom, that's the top.